Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. We are nearing the end of the NFL season, which means more and more head coaches will be fired, most of them after the NFL season. But sometimes there is a coach that is so bad, you have to fire him mid-season, such as Frank Reich on the Colts and Matt Rule on the Panthers thus far. But today, we got another mid-season head coach being fired. That would be Nathaniel Hackett. This is a rare instance of a first year head coach being fired, especially mid-season. But Nathaniel Hackett was bad enough to make the list, along with another terrible head coach who was fired last year in his rookie season in the NFL, Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer was about a billion times worse than Nathaniel Hackett. But Nathaniel Hackett is still extremely bad, and it was only a matter of time until he got fired even though he's only in his rookie season as a head coach. I made a video about when Nathaniel Hackett was hired, and I thought it was great on the Broncos, great on him. I thought this was going to be great. He had just coached as the offensive coordinator the two-time back-to-back MVP winner Aaron Rodgers. So he looked really good coming into the season because he just finished coaching a superstar, and now he gets another superstar in Russell Wilson to work with. Sure, they're a bit different, but Nathaniel Hackett looked amazing. He could coach Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers to be superstars. Then he could easily coach Russell Wilson. This was going to work out great for the Broncos, and they might even end up winning a Super Bowl in short time. Boy, did that not work out for them. As soon as the season started, in their opening game against the Seahawks, they absolutely blew it. Now, the Seahawks have been better than expected, but they haven't been better than the, how the Broncos should have been. So, Nathaniel Hackett was off to a bad start. And then he proceeded to get worse and worse. You just watched him on the field and he looked confused, dumbfounded of what was going on. He had no idea what he was doing. Over the year, he hired a couple new assistants to try and aid him because he had no idea what he was doing, but that proved not to be sufficient. This whole year, the Broncos just couldn't win games. It's just sad to watch, honestly. Russell Wilson's a hollow shadow of his former self. I'm not sure how a shadow can be hollow, but you know my point. And none of his receivers are performing very well. Javante Williams started off the season great, but then went out for the season. The offensive line has been worse than expected. The tight ends haven't done anything. Albert Okubunam, hopefully I pronounced that right, but probably did not, has not done a thing this year. He lost the starting role, and rookie Greg Dulcich has looked fine, but not amazing. The defense has been what's carried the team to four wins. And that's still not very good because it's not an amazing defense, but you need the offense to put a couple points on the board to win the game. The defense can't win the game on their own unless the quarterback throws a ton of pick sixes. So this was not working out for the Broncos. They end up trading Bradley Chubb midseason. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And that's kind of when I figured that Nathaniel Hackett was going to be fired because he wasn't just dumbfounded, but he was ruining this team completely. There is no way the Broncos should have been as bad as they were. So they had to trade Bradley Chubb, which means that without Bradley Chubb, the defense still performed really well. I thought they'd be worse than they were, but it's not enough to save Nathaniel Hackett's job. So this really brings into question, who was behind Aaron Rodgers' multiple MVP season? Could it be Matt LaFleur, the head coach? Because he's been not that great this year without Devontae Adams and Nathaniel Hackett. Could it be Aaron Rodgers? But again, same kind of thing. Aaron Rodgers isn't bad, 
but he hasn't been amazing. Could it be Devontae Adams? Maybe Devontae Adams just helped carry Aaron Rodgers. And that's a possibility. Devontae Adams was really, really good. He's taken a slight step back in Vegas, but he's still been really, really amazing. So maybe it's just the pairing of a pretty good quarterback, still above average by a significant amount in Aaron Rodgers, and a superstar wide receiver in Devontae Adams that carried them. Because it's clearly not the coaching staff that brought them the MVPs. The one coach that it could have been is the quarterback's coach of the Packers, Luke Getze. Made a video about him being hired as well. And I could see that the Bears made an amazing decision. And unlike Nathaniel Hackett, I think I've proved to be right. Justin Fields has played amazing this year with Luke Getze as his offensive coordinator. Matt Eberflus is a defensive coach. He's not the one helping Justin Fields here. It's all Luke Getze. So I think Luke Getze could be part of the reason Aaron Rodgers had so much success as well. And maybe Luke Getze pretty much just is the reason that Nathaniel Hackett looked good. But... That doesn't explain the wide receivers. With Devontae Adams being amazing, you've got to attribute some of that to Nathaniel Hackett, right? But he's been so terrible on his own. Maybe he just needed Matt LaFleur to be the head coach, and he's a great offensive coordinator. There's been coaches like that that are fine offensive coordinators, but they just can't be the coach of the whole team. So it's really tough to say. All I know is that the Broncos are going to be in an interesting situation this offseason. They do now have a first round pick due to trading away Bradley Chubb, but they lost their own due to trading for Russell Wilson, which means the top 10 pick that they're going to get will not belong to them. But they will have the 49ers pick, which they got from the Dolphins, to use, but that will be a later first round pick. The 49ers are in the playoffs and could make a deep run at it as well. It's honestly possible that the 49ers win the Super Bowl, so the Broncos are getting the 32nd overall pick. So the Broncos can't really rely on the draft to fulfill all their needs. So what do you do here? Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler have not seemed like the answer. I would ship both of them out, honestly. I think they both need fresh starts. Same thing with Albert Ogwubunam. Again, sorry for that pronunciation. Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick seem like solid receivers, but I would bring in another wide receiver to help them. Maybe you need to draft him because there isn't many receivers going into free agency this year, but maybe you can strike a trade for someone. But that might not be the brightest idea to give up even more draft capital. So it's tough to say. You also need to strengthen the offensive line for Javante Williams and Russell Wilson. Maybe Russell Wilson's holding on to the ball for a bit too long, but that offensive line has not looked very good. I would add in at least one more star player on that offensive line, or at least someone that can hold their own. On the defense, despite it being as good as it has been, the front seven needs at least one new player, one new Bradley Chubb, because who do they have right now that can truly lead that defense. They have plenty of players in the secondary. Patrick Sertan is a superstar already in his second year. And Justin Simmons, when healthy, is also a very, very, very good player. You've also got a couple other cornerbacks and safeties that can easily hold their ground in the secondary. But the front seven is lacking in that one player you can rely on to be really good all the time. So what do you do if you're George Payton, who could be fired, but I think he'll survive this year, the general manager of the Broncos? Do you tear it all down and rebuild, or do you try and fulfill all those needs? It would be tough to get all of those players, but I think that's what you've got to do, because you're not getting anything for Russell Wilson at this point in time, especially with how hefty his contract is. So you're better off building around with Russell Wilson and hoping he plays really well this season. If not, you might just have to release him or maybe you can trade him. I suspect he can still be a mediocre starter even if he's not a superstar. 
starter and not playing like what he's being paid to play like. So it's tough to say, but I say grab a couple more players in free agency and the draft and hope that the Broncos can turn around and at least make the playoffs next season. Thanks for watching. <laughs>